All right, <clears throat> so we're playing the second scenario, Letter of Mark. We're on the, we're actually in the middle of the t second turn, uh, just to save time because in this particular game, the ship starts so far away <laughs> that it takes a couple turns to get into action. Uh, so here's the inexperienced merchant ship with a regular frigate. Uh, they made essentially one move in so far. And three brigs, pirate, privateer brigs have come in. This is the end of their second move heading toward their pri prize. <clears throat> there are three loot tokens on that merchant ship. And there are the little loot counters are on the uh, card. When the brigs win a boarding action with the merchant ship, they'll be able to take one of those. If the merchant ship leaves the table uh, off of this edge uh, with two or more tokens, it wins. If the privateers escape off any edge with two or more tokens, they win. So it could be a draw if things sink and tokens are lost. All right, so I'm about to move my frigate, and my first move is going to take it forward. I'm going to go ahead and move straight forward five. That's my rate of knots. Five. Okay. And since I'm in arc with my bow chaser, one light cannon, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be able to fire because it's within 14 inches. All right. So there's the, there's the range to target. Now, it's one cannon, light, uh, hitting on fives like everybody does, except since the brig is a small ship, it's minus one. Um, short range, because I'm within 10 inches, so there's no modifier for that. No modifiers for speed or full saves or anything, because we're both at battle sails. So four or less, and a six. So six I missed, so no damage. Uh, yeah, All right, so now um, I've shot. Now, you, of course, you shoot or, uh, or you shoot and move, turn in either order. So now that I've shot, I'm going to go ahead and turn the ship slightly. I'm going to not perfectly straight, and now. I'm going to go five forward, and, and now I'm going to turn here, and this is where I think I just pulled off the rake. Yeah, well, we didn't have the rake. Yeah, yeah but this, I changed the move. Okay, just so it looks like I'm, uh, it's a really, really, really close here. I'm going to see how, if, if this is a rake or not. Now, I'm shooting you know, down from the bow, down to the length of a ship. However, I'm only going to be counting as raking if the center line of the target ship actually passes through my hull. So when I look at this, to me, it looks like I'm still just a little bit be, mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit ahead of that. So I don't actually get a rake shot off of this. Bummer. That's okay. Uh, it is within 10 inches. Uh, actually, it's within 8, so it's short range. Not only short range, but the carronade is included. So I have... Uh, several shots here now. I've got a carronade, a light cannon, and two heavy cannon. Uh, again, now it's I'm needing fours or less because it's short range, and I minus one for a, t a small ship. So fours or less. Okay, so I have one crit with that, one crit with that, and then a five misses for the carronade, five misses for the heavy cannon. All right, so I've got a, a two for the heavy. One for the light, so that's three damage. And let's take a look at what the crits are. All right, so the first, these are both going to be in hull because we're only we're not playing uh, aim shot, you know, aiming high. So the first crit is going to be a two, and the second one is going to be a two. So I actually have to rule that second one again because you only have one crit in effect at a time, except for uh, on the high table. Oh, there's another two. There are six. Okay. All right, so the first one is a, the two is a gun deck hit. So essentially, the crew's been temporarily disabled. Um, you'll be able to remove that token at the end of your next activation. Your ship will fire two fewer cannons of each type. So essentially, you can't fire a gun off of that position. Um, now that's going to be, since it's the position closest to the ship, it's going to be the uh, port side, yes. So... Uh, so you can still fire off the, the starboard side. Now the six, 
That, unfortunately, is a fire on board. Yeah. yeah. Now, but it is a small ship. So, for fire, you're actually going to be taking a little bit of extra damage. For a, you immediately take D3 more damage. That's, I've got that right here. This is a D3. And that's two. So you take two more damage. And we'll get a little bit of a kind of fluff good. Okay. All right. All right. So now at the start of each of your activations, you'll roll to try to put that out. Hopefully not explode. So we're going to use the uh, this little marker here, but you can use the wool that comes in the kit. All right. So there's my turn and fire for my frigate. Now let's see, I'm going to bring my merchant ship up. And I'm just going to move her just straight up. Six, six total. Three for the first and three for the second. Okay. So that is the end of the first turn. And, turn. Or sorry, second turn. And this is the position of all the ships on the table. This is going to be interesting. So let's see if what happens with the uh, wind. Changes, it does. Okay, so a, a three is winds change. We move the arrow of the wind rows one sh uh, step clockwise. So now, oh boy, this works to his advantage because now it's going. Yes, you can actually go full sail if you really wanted to. Um, so it's coming into the the front of my. Uh, merchant ship. I don't think it's going to be uh, enough to slow it down this turn, but if it takes one more step, it will. So I'm going to. That does limit my ability to, to maneuver somewhat. Okay, let's go on to the next turn. Alrighty, so now the wind is coming from the rear of the brigs, all of them. So you can choose to go to uh, full sail if you really want to, but. No, I don't think I do. Not right now. Anyway. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to turn to get you. Turn like that. And Oh yeah, <clears throat> you're within range, but you're not within ten inches. Oh, the ch measure for hull to hull. No, I'm yeah, still okay, so you're you're at long range, so you'll be at minus two. Um, wait a second, you're actually lined up like this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so you're gonna have to turn a little bit more, and I know you've got room to turn. Yeah, now you've got it. Okay, so now range is. Under your minimum, it's, it's over the 10, but less than 20, so you've got two heavy cannon, and you're hitting on fives. Uh, no modifiers for uh, size, because I'm medium, but you are at long range, so you're minus two, so threes or less. And a 10 nothing. and a five. Nope. Okay, it's so nothing this time. Probably, you're pretty sure you'll be able to stay on the table. Nice. Yep, and you'll be you'll be coming down on the other side of my ship. Oh, this is, you're gonna be on boat. You're gonna be bracketing my uh, merchant ship. That's kind of the idea. Yep. Turned like that. Yep, and if you turn a little bit more, the center. Has to be, yeah, there you go. You because if you remember the center of your ship has to center, okay. be, be overlapping my entire ship, so you get you definitely have a full shot here. Unfortunately for me, you are within ten, Beautiful. so you're no you don't have short range, right. or so you do have short range, so you're fives or less. Wouldn't it be sixes or less? Uh, no, five because you know, always start at five. 
Um, you're a medium, I'm a medium ship, so no modifiers there. Okay. No short range penalty. Okay. So, yep, five or less. And there's a three and a four. So that's four, da four each. Four damage? So I do f no, sorry, four, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Two damage each, four damage total. Gotcha. So I gotta mark that down. I'm down going from 36 down to 32. Alrighty, very good. Second move. <laughs> okay, what you need is a you have, you have a choice to make first. You can it's a it's a roll it's a normal skill test on d6. So you're regular. So on a five plus, it'll go away. But if you roll a one, you explode. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't like that idea. If you don't put it out, you take damage. Now, if you want a plus, uh, if you want to focus on actually trying to put the fire out, then you have to go straight. You can't change sails. You can't change direction, and you still make your skill test with, uh, I believe it's a bonus, I'll look that up in a second, uh, but you don't have any chance of exploding. Yeah, so essentially, this is the this is the danger here. You get a plus two modifier to skill, so you're going to stop it on a, four, a three plus, but you can't change your level sail, so you're going to go battle sails. You can't change direction, and you can't shoot. So that's actually going to cause you to... Nope, you're just not, you're not going to hit, because you're... You're actually going right behind my boat. Uh, but. No, I there's no but. Yeah, you'll be able to do it. Okay. Because, yeah, because in order to. When you do a collision, your ship actually has to run into it, not past. Mm -hmm. So are you going to prevent. Yeah, right, I'll okay, so you're going to focus. focus. Okay, so you're plus two on a regular. So three up. Oh, oh nothing. Yeah, but it's good because you can't explode. If you try, if you're trying to put the fire out, so one would normally cause an explosion. Still so you still take D three damage, yes. D three. Yep. So yep. Let's go ahead and roll that. You caused it. You rolled. Yep. And you just take one more. Alrighty. Do I still just go double now, straight? You still go straight twice. Yep. Because you, even though you failed, uh, it's still on fire, and you just keep going straight, and that will take you past my ship. Oops, sorry. So, yeah, so your wake mark will be right here. Yeah, there you go. And then this goes away. Yes, it does. You are you're no longer have a gun deck hit because that goes away at the end of the activation. Okay. All right, so now... Oh, that kind of works. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Unfortunately, that puts you right up near my merchant ship. Okay. Um, Naming screaming pirates coming. Yeah, I know. All right. My first move has to be to move forward. Um, staying at battle sails. Now I'm gonna go to light sails. Okay. So we have to go forward first. Let's make this simple. There we go. Move that up to here. You're a light sail. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Now, let's take a look. I can potentially shoot here. I'm going to take a look at my arc with my front cannon. And uh, nothing's in arc. So it's. I'm going to have to turn. And that's, that's the key here. Um. <clears throat> You know what? I am going to ever so slightly. Boy, this is risky. Okay, I'm going to turn here. To hit me? Well, I have an idea. Uh, your my your, my bow cannon is definitely within range, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. I am within three, so um, I'll be getting double damage if I hit. But I am also plus two because it's point blank range. 
So I have the one cannon, light cannon one shot. Only be plus one because I'm small. That's I was going there. Yes, right. yes, absolutely, you're correct. So it's five minus one because he's small, but plus two because it's point blank. So it's a six or less. But it's double damage. It's a three, so two damage. Okay. All right. Um, so that's all I can do uh, as far as movement goes. But now that it's the end of my move, and I'm within three inches of you, I can try to grapple. So I'm going to try to grapple that ship. And I need, I'm a regular, so on a five or less, or sorry, five or greater, on a d6, I will succeed. No, do not grapple. All right, so that's the end of his move. Now on to the merchant. That was only his first move. Oh, he uh, went one. to light sail, yeah. Okay, um... I think I'm going to have some fun with my merchant guns. All right, we're going to go three forward. <clears throat> we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to turn. I don't like where your, your bricks are going to be in the next move. So I'm going to go as far that way as I can. Okay. And then I'm going to go three forward. Okay. And then I'm going to turn back. Okay. Oh, this is a good position. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so let's take, let's take a look at this position. Obviously I'm going to shoot that brig. So, again, it's three, and I have two heavy and two light cannon. Um, I am within three inches, so that's good. So I do get a bonus there. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of penalties here too because I'm inexperienced. So we start off with five. I'm, let's do this. Okay, we're going to start off with a five. Now, I'm inexperienced, so right there that brings me down to, you are a small ship, so now brings me down one more, there. But I am within three inches, so that's plus two. So I'm up to four now. Two heavy and two light cannon. Okay. Uh oh, one heavy cannon hit. So. It is doubled because it's super short range, so it's four points total, and it's a crit. The crit is going to be a five. <laughs> okay, that is that's extra damage to the to the structure. So I basically the ship's hull and superstructure take a hammering. Roll d3 and add to the result. So uh, one more. So that's a total of five damage. Okay, not not bad shooting from an inexperienced merchant crew. <laughs> of course, uh, things are going to get really interesting now. We've got a burning privateer headed right half toward... Dead. Yeah, half dead headed toward the merchant ship. We've got a frigate that is about to hit or be plastered by another privateer brig. Another brig here lined up. All right, let's go ahead and see what happens to the wind. Hopefully nothing. Uh, nothing. Okay, so it stays in the same action, uh, the activation order. Uh, as far as your, your brig is going to start here, then go to here, then go to my frigate, then your brig, and then finally my merchant ship. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, again, you can go to full sail with these two I if you really need... want to. Oh, I'm good. Okay, let's get that set up there. You're going to? Yes. Just make sure. Go there. Here you go. First move. I think I just screwed it. No, I don't, I don't think you did. No, I don't think you did. 
Well, we will find out. You don't have to turn because I don't need to turn. Though. Yeah, because if you continue straight, I think you are going to be off the table. No, I will. There's no doubt about okay. that. I can't tell from here, so yeah. So it turned just slightly. Either way, you're still going to have a full broadside on me. Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> hit myself. Uh, yeah, but you are, you'd still have the center of your, the center of your ship is still in my bow, so yeah. It's, uh, it's, you're going to hit. You still have, you don't have uh, partial visibility. You have full broadside. Okay. So what's your range? Four. Okay, so we're definitely at short range. Uh, no modifiers from uh, size or movement or anything else. So yeah, it's fives or less. And one hit, so that's two more points to me. I'm down to 30. Okay. <clears throat> Next ship. Oh, I'm not going to... Uh, let's double check here. Let's do this. Back, turn it around a bit and put the, um, like this. Put the five on there. That way we can line this, go, go forward like this. And the, the yard arm doesn't matter. But does the hull hit? So you're going to be going all the way up to here. So it's, no. Just there. Okay. Yeah, this is the the actual uh, bow spritzer in the way, but you can see the the actual bows themselves are not going to make contact. So they he just missed a uh, <laughs> a collision there. Uh, but when they're that close, you just you just fiddle a bit to so. I'm move this out of the way so I can turn. Okay. Yep. Did he make his second move? Yeah, the second that's, move was that was. Yeah, second. Oh, that's right. He's way over here. Yep, that's right. Okay. All right. So here's his turn. He can shoot now. Yep. Oh boy. And you are within three now. Yes, you are. So it's double damage, and you're plus two to hit. So it's sevens or less. Yes. Oops. And that's two sevens. All right. So that's four. That's eight damage. Wow. Okay. Oh boy. That puts me at 22. I'm 10 away from, uh, 11 away from having to strike my colors or test for it. Oh boy. Five. Well, you start on the one there, right? So you can go one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's okay. All right. Um. How close do we have to be to grapple? Three? Three inches. Is he within three? And you are, at this moment, you are, nah. looks like just over three. I'm going to lay it this way. Like oh, you are within three. Oh. Yes, you're, the bow is just within three. Well, we will try and grapple. Okie doke. All right. So, as mentioned before, uh, the, this crew is regular. So, it's a five or six on skill test. But because of their special rule in their scenario, they're plus two. So you will successfully grapple on a three plus. And that's a four, so it is successful. Okay, so when you grapple, you essentially move the ships together. And we'll just move the, this guy in. So that represents that they're, they're now grappled. All right, so since it's successful, we go ahead and their, their grapples are next to each other. Uh, just place them close enough where you know they don't tangle themselves up, you know, the models themselves. And now we take a look at the uh, we're going to the actual combat. So you divide the remaining ship points for each of the two ships by ten, and you round up. So, so I'm at eighteen. So, eight, so two. You have two. I have forty-four, so I'm at four. Now you have. A plus two d10 because of your special rule in the in the scenario. So you actually have four, and I will also have four. Okay. However, when we're doing when we're uh, fighting, 
we use a different boarding to hit table. And so regular, which is you, it's five or less. For me and experience, it's four or less. Mm -hmm. Now, remember though, in this game as well, this scenario, you have a special rule that gives you plus two to that. So you need a seven or less, I need a four or less. So I'll let you go first. And that is three. Three of them? It's a crit. Okay. I don't know if crits matter in this one. Um, now, it's just the, for also, for this is the first turn of boarding, you actually are plus one more, so you get eight or less. Oh, but you have seven, ten, one, and four. Now, the crit does basically doubles the damage. So each success, there are three of them, is two hull points. I take two hull points for each of those. But because it's a crit, it's an extra two for that. So I've taken a total of eight damage out of my 44. All right, now I have four dice, but I'm hitting you on fours or less. Uh, I have two of them, so that does four damage to you. Yep, two for you. Yep. All right. Okay, so now we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so you you get a, one of the, you get a token, a little treasure token. So put that on the ship card. Cool. All righty. Now the ship that takes the least amount of damage, which was you, I only did 40, you did 8 to me, is considered the base of the winner. That's why you got the token. Um, however, now, if I've taken uh, the most damage, but I'm not less than half of my initial skill points, uh, or ship points, which is 44, um, I'm fine. Um, I have to pass, I would otherwise have to pass a uh, skill test, but it's because I'm not below half, which is 22, I don't. If in close combat and grappling like this, you bring me down below a breakpoint, it's an automatic fail. So it's automatic striking of the colors. Okay. Okie doke. All right, so that's great. We're done with that particular action. Now we go on to the frigate. All right, actually, your grappling helped me because it prevents me from getting, from ramming myself. I am going to anchored. Okay. And we like to use a little, little anchor token to. Uh, you don't need it. I mean, just the fact the weight marker isn't there is enough to tell you. And now I'm going to use my... Uh, can't do it. Hold on. The first thing I have to do, since I was not moving last turn, is I still have to drift forward. Let's put the marker back there. Drift forward five. And that's where I come to rest. Okay. So, and from here is where I'll do the turn. And I'm going to go ahead and turn full like this. Okay, so now I'm going to be able to hit that closest brig to me. I'm not within three, I'm within four. So that is going to be two cannon, a light, or two heavy cannon, two light cannon, and a cannonade. Okay, I'm at short range. Um, now, because I am anchored, I do have a bonus. Because if I'm at anchor, I'm plus two. So, five plus two is seven minus one because it's a small ship. Makes it a six. Six or less. So that's a carronade hit. That's the only one. Uh, sorry, the carronade and the heavy cannon. So, carronade does three, heavy cannon does two. That's a total of five damage. Alrighty, and now that's where I'm at. I'm anchored, and we can go on to the fire brig. Yeah. All right, so the flaming brig. Do you wish to roll? Try to roll out the fire, or put out the fire by focusing on it, or no, risking it. Okay, so he's gonna risk. Let's go ahead and on a one he blows up. On a five or better, he puts it out. It's a six. He's it's out. So no more damage, and you can act normally now. Okay. I'm not going far. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you going to do light sails or heavy sails? No, I'm staying where I'm. Okay. Once, okay. Oh, uh, but it, grappling is at the end of your your move, so um, you would have to go to light sails to grapple. Okay. Yeah. So it's just so. Well, you, 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 yes, you don't have the same spot. It's this right hip. Okay. All right, so very good. Uh, I'm going to turn a little bit. Uh -huh. Like 
that. Yep. All right, so I can shoot you first. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Now, however, when you're shooting at two, you know, multiple ships, both ships take the damage. Oh, then I'm not going to shoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't want to do that. Okay. <laughs> Now there are well we're not covering it in this this part of the series yet, but there are other shot types and you may be able to use a grape shot and not affect my ship. But we'll talk about those in a separate video. Okay, so he has turned a little bit just for good looks, and now shoot. Yeah, it's okay. He looks good, but it looks good. Okay, but now again, you need a skill test of five up plus two because of the special rules of the scenario. So three up with one six. The other boat doesn't help. The other boat doesn't help. This is to grapple. And you do. So you're successfully grappled. Do I go here or nope. right behind? Nope. Just stay right where you are. Okay. Yep. Um, the, what, we, what they typically talk about is you, you move the two ships in parallel, so next okay. to each other. So we can just do that. Okay. That works out well. All right. Now, when you have multiple grapples, things are a little more complicated, but they're not that hard, like we mentioned in the previous video. Um, what you're able to do, because we have to figure out um, any bonuses you might get. Because you still do the sh ship points divided by 2 rounded up, or sorry, divided by 10 rounded up, but the side with the greatest total ship points, I have 20... Uh, two? I have 20. Oops, sorry, I have... No, I have 28. 26. I have 24. Yeah, so I have the most. So uh, I get to add 2 to the target hit numbers. So, so I get, I, yeah, be, be basically hitting just a little bit less than you. Yep. Uh, but, but, it still only works the one ship. So it's your one ship against my one ship. Okay. So your total sh uh, hull points left? Ten. Ten, okay, so you, <laughs> you have one die, D, one D10, but you get the plus two for the scenario, so you have three dice total. Uh, yeah, I'm at 36, so that rounds up to four. So you get, don't you, oh, you get plus two to hit. I get plus two to hit because I have more points than you, yeah. I get plus one to hit because of the scenario, right? You get plus two to hit for the scenario, yeah. So, um, so you're hit on sevens. Okay. Yep. Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and you need sevens or less. And ouch. Oh, three. All three, and one's a crit. So that's two, four, eight more damage. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and do my four. Hitting you on sixes. It's the four or less plus the two, because I outnumber you. So, oh, 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 nothing at all. So, you win. You do more damage than I do. I took eight again, right? Mm -hmm. That puts me down to... 26, or sorry, 28. Oh, wow. Six away from having to have a problem. All right, you, you got your treasure token. Good, you do win another loot. Yep. All right, so I'm in, I'm not in good shape. I'm only down to 28. Okay, it's so now it is the merchant ship's turn. <laughs> um, wow, okay, I have to try to disengage us. I can't really afford to fight. I can. Let me think about this. All right, he's... I'm going to attempt to disengage. It's a one in six chance, but it keeps keeps the pressure on because I don't want you to have all three of the treasure tokens. And if you win this next round of fighting, I end up losing all my treasure tokens. We only have to get two off. I know. But I can sink one of your ships to, see what I mean? So that's why I have to risk it. So I'm going to try to do it. I need a six because I'm inexperienced. <laughs> that's impressive. That is. And it's a three, so I do not. So, nope. So uh, there's no fighting happens this turn because I've chosen disengage instead of fighting. Because you do one or the other. Okay. So that puts the turn at the end with an anchored frigate, a privateer brig running away to try to engage Run his buddy. Away. Well, he's running away from my frigate. He's a distraction. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> he's a distraction. All right, and, and we have all three ships are grappled together, so they're, they're not moving. Uh, they would be light sails when they eventually do free up one way or the other. 
Okay, so let's roll to see. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and we'll, we'll change them all to light sails, thanks. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and roll to see if the wind changes. It does not. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. You're going first. So, yeah, I am going first with my frigate. And I am going to have some fun because uh, since I've already anchored, I'm going to stay anchored. I'm going to pivot in place. Which puts me like here. And the beauty of this is I have a raking shot shoot on that ship. Yeah, but you might hit your own boat. Uh, I'm going to hit my own boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but then, it, Darren, it's like two away from striking color, isn't it? No. Oh. No, no. Um, it's, it's six away. Yeah, from having to test for it every turn. But uh, the thing is, you're, you're likely going to win. I mean, you're going to win if I don't do something to that frigate because, or sorry, that, that brig. And I've got a stern rake, and I'm within ten in, uh, eight inches. Am I? Oh, please be within eight inches. I'm not. Okay, so I don't have the carronade, but I do have the heavy cannon and the light cannon. It would be double damage from a stern rake if I hit. I got to risk it. <clears throat> um, I'm not raking my own ship though, uh, so because I'm not, I'm not actually in arc. Uh, my ship is yeah, not even bad. aiming at it, so it technically doesn't count. So, but I do, I still do damage. So whatever I would do prior to the doubling for raking. All right, so let's see. I'm short range, so five or less. Small target makes it four or less. But I'm anchored, so that's plus two, so that's six or less. Uh, let's see. Yep, so it's six or less. Okay. Um, both ships take, I, my merchant ship takes two, your brig takes four. Wasn't that good? Alright, so now it's your, for your brig. Oh boy, that didn't work so well. <clears throat> But now that just means I really need to get rid of that uh, brig. That's there you go. Okay. Say hello. Okay, you can try to grapple, I assume. Yes. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea. All right, go ahead and uh, three. Uh, three plus because of the scenario special rules. Oh. You roll a two. Oh, I'm spared. That's great. Okay, so now it's this. Uh, let me make sure. Let's take a look at the. Here's the weather rose. Yeah, because my. Yeah, your brig first. Yep. All right, yep. so I'm at twenty. Now. You, yes. Oh no, I get one. Well, I, I've got one. Because mm -hmm. I'm at ten. Right. Um, <clears throat> well, what's... They're both at ten. They're both at ten. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you get a total of three. Okay. Alright. Now, so you have a total of twenty. I still have more, so I get plus two. No, you're over the same. We're both uh, at twenty. I'm at twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked yeah, at the wrong card. I'm yes, we're at twenty. Yes. Okay, so neither of us gets a, ba a bonus. But it's your... So I don't get the plus two then? You do get plus two. That's part of the scenario rules. Oh, that's right. Yeah. my It's a bonus to hit. You're still going to kill on seven up. Isn't that only on the first one I get to have two extra dice? You get, no. You always get plus two dice. Okay. I don't get the extra dice. But yeah. uh, you don't get extra hit on this every... Only on the first board. Okay. I knew it was one of those two. Yep. Okay. And so... Uh, let's get the, the scenario back open. Uh, so now, uh, I have two dice because that's all I've got. So, but I'm hitting on fours or less. You're hitting on sevens again or less because you're five or less because you're regular. And then plus two for the special scenario rule. So you're no, no, seven or less. That's just on the first turn. No, that's, there's a, on the first turn of grapple, you get a plus one because oh, okay. the first turn of grapple. That's so you're, you have a seven or less. Okay. And I, one. that's good. That's two points of damage, which, 
I need to actually do more damage to you now because I'm, I'm less than half and I am three away from striking color, or four away from striking colors. So here's my two attacks back, hitting you on fours. One, so you take two. All right, we've tied. Okay, happen. since the action was a draw, we both did two to each other. Nothing happens. Uh, but I didn't win. So I'm you didn't win, so you don't get the token. Now the thing is, it is now my turn. Uh, or my activation. So at this point, I have to make a skill test because I'm less than my half hull point, half my hull points. According to the scenario, I need to make a skill test to avoid striking my colors. So on a six, I strike my colors. Or don't strike my colors, so I do. So my sh the ship is now struck. Uh, this merchant ship has surrendered. There is a treasure token on it. You'll still need to engage in a boarding action to get it. Okay. All right, and that's your last break now. So the reason that's an important uh, rule in the scenario is that because I'm a sh my ship has struck its colors, he can freely leave and ungrapple which would put him at light sails, he can move. But since he already needs to get the other treasure token, or he might want to get the other treasure token, yeah. he has to stay there and in, in grapple. Yeah, we're going to stay there and try. Okay, and you don't have to try. You don't roll oh, dice. It's just automatic. You don't have to get the token. Okay. And now that means that that ship has got two tokens. This one has one. That's the one that I need to sink. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's roll to see what happens with the weather. Uh oh, uh -oh. No. that's not good. No, it's not. It's tense. Nothing. Okay, good. All right, but that does start with me first, and then it's going to go to uh, your Briggs in order. Okay, uh, I am going to. I have to turn because that's the anchored. I have to turn this so that I go here. Um, don't have any choice really. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose this one. Okay. All right. Yep. So I have to. Yeah, because because if I didn't, I'd go off the table, oh. and I can't afford to do that. So I have to turn now. I, next turn, I can move, do something fancy, and actually, I'll be able to go full sail. So, um, so let's go with your first brig here. It it, it can freely dis disengage. You get light sail, and you'll sneak by yeah, both your ships. Move your ship out there. Yep, we can just yeah. Let's yeah, keep my. I'll keep this here. There you go. So five. Uh -huh. Can I still turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Turn gauges under the tripod. <laughs> it's a good spot for it. Okay. I can go off any table edge, right? Any table edge. We'll take the wind with us as we go. Yeah, you might want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, because you can exit the gaming area anywhere He's you want. Sales. Yes, he was at battle. He's, <laughs> He's technically anchored, but we'll just leave the marker there so right. that we know where his ship is. Okay, so now it's his. He's going to skirt by. Actually, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> now here, yeah, here, I think the hull is actually going to make contact because... You don't go anchor. Hmm? Oh, no, I still drift. You, yeah, you're still going to drift five. You, can, you can't go from battle to, to no. anchor. Um, because your hull is actually going to hit the hull here. Of hit, uh, the, yeah. The, yeah. Well, it, yeah, just, the hull. Yeah, just scrape it. it. Yeah, so you're going to have a collision. So do I stop at the boat? Uh, no, you'll actually, I think you'll finish it. Let's see what the results of the collision are first. Okay. Okay, because first there's a chance of evading. Because okay. there's always a chance of evading a collision. Um, you'll both, since you you don't want to collide, both ships roll a skill test plus one. So fours are better. So on D6? On D6. Okay. So go ahead and roll them both. It doesn't really matter which one fails or passes. So as long as both of them are four plus, you succeed. Okay, so yep, it is avoided. So what do they do? So essentially you continue through as if you did not. Okay. Yes. Pick. 
Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yep, exactly. And see, and see, the key here is because you're, you'll be, you'll be able to move your full rate of knights and get clear, you're able to make that move. Otherwise, you have to stop short of the ship. And then your second one, you go. There you go. Okay. So now let's roll to see what happens with the wind. And it's a, an 8, so nothing. Okay, which means I get to go first. So I'm going to go to light sails, because I can only go up one level. And I go forward my... Yeah, you're, you're almost certainly going to win here. So it's up 5, and then there's the turn, which will get me lined up here to pursue you down the table. Okay. So let's see what happens with the three brigs. So do I move um, and then go up sails? Or do I no, move? you go up sails first. Now he can go to battle sails. Yep. Stop. Five to there. Mm -hmm. Turn and then you get off the table. Yes, because you'll turn and you'll leave right away. Okay, and so that he has one treasure token, so yep. he's escaped with one loot. Okay, the next guy. He'll get uh, yeah, he'll go you'll do yep. battle sales and he'll just go straight off. With yep, the same move. same thing, yeah, because yep, that's correct. So he's off. Alright, and so you've just exited the table with three, all three tokens. So you have won. <laughs> Alright. Congratulations. Good game. Yeah, it was my mistake, but it you know <laughs> no guts, no glory, right? No, no, I <laughs> Yeah, that was Plants. Yeah, yeah, and this is actually, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to know how to defend that, that merchant, but uh, you by grappling it, you held it in place, and then I really shouldn't have moved my uh, frigate so far up so quick. I should have lagged lag back. So That's, I think we're a mistake. Weird question. Yeah. So if the brig that was on my brig that was on fire yeah. when it was up here and mm -hmm. it would have blown up, would it have damaged? Yes. Okay. When you explode, you within a certain radius, that was honestly you do damage. My plan was to do enough damage that so you're getting less dice, yep. and then that other boat was going to swing in and grapple and do yeah. what those two did. Scoot yep. And <laughs> you did a good job. Oh no, that was good, and, and I love the way you came up this this table edge and then came around to the ship and just kept going. You know, that's of course having the wind shift in your favor made a big big difference i don't um, really and it seems kind of i guess that thing's supposed your fifth rate supposed to gun everything down it's or so, grapple and hold you in place well, that's, that's true that's the thing which is what i tried to do up front you know get get rid of one of those because you know going against a 44 hull point heavy merchant uh is a large merchant is tough for those brigs i mean you know yeah you, I, was, I was killing you guys pretty quick uh, even though I was uh, hitting a four. Yeah, the less. one with only one loot token. I only had eight hull points. It was one away before I had to test. Oh wow! Yes. <laughs> Ooh man, so it was close. That was close. But, <clears throat> yep, Spanish failed to protect the merchant ship. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Hope you were able to learn from that. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, in the series, and we'll catch you in the next video. All right. Bye bye.